is very intimidating going live, I have to say. I'm going to give it a, a few minutes, or a minute or two, just to let everybody get notification that I'm on. If you are unfamiliar with me, my name is Angela Davis. I'm the creator of Prettify Your Life, the YouTube channel, and the blog, and the Facebook um, page. I have been in the crafting social media community for almost six years now, and I've taken a little bit of a break because my daughters are highly involved in school and sports, and so I've had to adjust when we moved from Oklahoma back to Texas. Um, it's, it's, it's taken a toll on my crafting, but our schedule is changing this fall, so I'm hoping to really get back into my crafting community because that's where my heart is. My heart is for the beginning crafter, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the person who wants to try crafts but never has. And uh, I'm not in it to compete with anybody. I'm here just to share ideas and hopefully inspire people to try new things. So if you can, subscribe to my channel, push the subscribe button, and then next to the subscribe button, hit the bell and hit get notifications that way whenever I go live on YouTube you'll get that notifications so I finally completed a very large project I've had planning for probably over a year and it's one of those projects you've probably you probably had those oops, sorry you probably had those projects where you know they're gonna really they're gonna be cool but they're really big and the thought of having to do all that work is exhausting. So this is kind of what this was. Um, and this, in the last couple of weeks, we, we've gotten it done with the help of my mom. We knocked it out and it's been a labor of love and I'm really excited about this room. And this room is not really even a room, it's a breezeway. Let me give you some kind of um, frame of reference before I show you the room. This is just a breezeway. Um, the door over here connects to the house, and this door right here goes into my craft room. So this is literally a breezeway over my porch, and um, it's about ten and a half feet long by almost seven feet wide. So it's not a big space. Again, it's a breezeway. My mom said, you know, it's really an unused space, but it has ten foot ceilings, really large windows, and I really like it. And Several years ago, probably two or three years ago, I was on Pinterest and I saw a wall that was covered in dress patterns. And it just, it's one of those aha moments where I'm like, I have to do that sometime. I, I don't know when and where, but I'm going to do the project. And this was the project. So the first thing I did, if you notice the walls behind me, this is all dress patterns. And what I did was I went on to eBay and I ordered or I won a lot of 20 vintage dress patterns and my 12 year old had a lot of fun. She opened these up and was looking at them and she was like, these clothes are just hideous and you know, bell bottoms, not our best look, right? But it was interesting because there was some paper scraps in there and, um, there was a, a newspaper clipping about Lady Bird Johnson when she dressed up as Santa Claus. So obviously this is from the 60s. Um, so that's pretty cool. So that was the first thing I did. I ordered, the lot was I think 20 dress patterns. And again, that was, that was just enough for a 10 by 7 room. So err on the side of more patterns and you can weed through them and find the cool pieces. And then the way I adhered it was strictly Mod Podge. Okay, I ordered a big vat of glossy Mod Podge. This is a gallon, and I got it from Amazon. All the links to some, all of the stuff are down below after, um, after I process this video. You're going to be able to see all the links. So this is a gallon. I used three-fourths of the Mod Podge on the entire room. Again, the room is a 10 and a half by 7, approximately. So I also bought... This really cool Mod Podge brush. I had never used it before. Um, I highly recommend this. Uh, this was very, very useful. And so I just poured the Mod Podge in this container, just a Tupperware, and 
brushed on Mod Podge on the wall, slapped on a dress pattern, a, par a piece of a dress, pa dress pattern, and then covered it with another layer of Mod Podge. And I did that all over the room. And again, it's 10 foot ceilings. Um, I had to enlist the help of my 12 year old and my husband because there's some weird stairs in here that I will show you. And I had to have my husband hold the ladder and crawl up under the chandelier, which is still crooked from that day, but we're gonna fix that. Um, and so that was the first thing we did. And then the second thing we did was my mom and I made these really beautiful curtains. I got the fabric from fabric.com. It is not a really a curtain fabric. Um, it's made, it's actually for like leotards and stuff. And I wasn't sure it was gonna work, but they are lined, so that gave it some stiffness. So I have the link to the pinch pleat lined curtain tutorial that I've used, that my mom and I've used. I will have that listed below as well. So um, let me take a minute and turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you the room. Let me put this up real quick. Sorry. Okay. Now, this is the door that leads to my house. Um, so this is the, the house wing, and then I have these weird steps, as you can see, that lead down. To the breezeway and the windows and across and there's the door to my craft room now let me get up here so you can see the room a little bit better now my craft room is over our three-car garage so that is the door so I come from the house down these steps across the breezeway and into my craft room so again, this is a weird, unused space, but again, now it's, I made it into a sitting room. So as you can see, I lined all the walls with dress patterns, just using gloss Mod Podge. And I tried to pick some cute little pieces in strategic places all along the, the walls. Like, Look, I, we had a dress pattern for panties. How funny is that? Those are panties above the door. So, that was the first thing I did. Just covered it in dress patterns and gloss Mod Podge, okay? Not hard, but very tedious. Okay, I can't imagine doing it in a huge room, even though it would look very cool, okay? Then the second thing we did was my mom and I made these beautiful floor to ceiling puddle hot pink curtains. Um, they're, they're lined, they're pinch pleated at the top. We used pinch uh, pleater tape. Again, I will have all the links to the materials um, listed below this video. I got the rod and the finials and the rings all at Hobby Lobby. This was an eight foot pole that my husband had to cut down to about six feet. You can just use a hacksaw and cut that down. That's in the drapery section. Um, really actually very economical. They're $30 um, rods and I use my coupon, so it's like uh, 18 something. So that was a really economical way to go. So my mom and I made, the, there's, four, uh, there's two sets in here and there's one set on the outside, but that room's a mess. So six panels, hot pink panels, for $150. I mean, seriously, and they're custom. They're ten, these are 10 foot and they puddle. So I highly recommend giving that tutorial a try. And again, I got my fabric at fabric.com, okay? And I just love it. I just, this, you know, me and pink, we go way back. So that was a super, super fun, thing to, uh, an idea that had come to fruition, but <laughs> my mom, I don't, I don't make curtains without my mom because I kind of, I'm good for a little while and then I get frustrated. So thank you mom for helping me. I really appreciate it. So after we got the walls, again, if you didn't see it, here we go. The walls and the curtains done. 
Then I, this was another passion project. This is a can, this is an old photo of my grandmother, my mom's mom, Dorothy Brush. And I've had this picture for a while. I think it was of her in her late teen years at a church function. And I had it blown up using canva Canvas On Demand. And it sat in my living room and I didn't know where I would put it. But I just loved it. I, I It's very nostalgic, very glamorous retro to me. And then I had the idea that I think it would be really cool if I glittered her little corsage. So I used some pink petal extra fine glitter um, from Hobby Lobby. Just mod podged her little corsage and put the glitter on there. And it just gave it that little pop, that little vintage with that little jazzy pop. And I just love this picture. I miss my grandma. I, I call her Mima. I miss my Mima a lot. She's been gone for about 10 years now. And so I just love having this picture of her in here. And so, and to piggyback on that, then over here I hung um, these six photos. They were in my previous craft room. But they've been sitting here because I didn't know where I wanted to put them. And then this just became the perfect wall. What that says is my grandmother's prayer list. Um, I used to go to church with my grandma a lot when I was little. And she's the best Christian I personally know. And so when she passed and I had to help my mom and uncle with her things, I, we came across her prayer list. And I had to have it because it was a connection to her. And so I took those out and I framed them. I put them on a mat and I framed them. Um, some of my, you know, my, I'm on there with my husband, my parents, my children are on there. Some friends that were going through some rough times before she passed um, were on there. So that's really special to me. So if you're thinking about, you know, think of it. It's special also because not only is it her prayer list, but it's her handwriting. And so that's a really special thing. So if you ever have somebody's handwriting, why don't you frame it and, and keep it as a memento? And then my mom brought me these uh, little hat boxes. This one I love because it's Hemphill Wells, um, which is a store in Lubbock, Texas, where I grew up. I live in Houston now, but Hemphill Wells at Christmas used to have this amazing dollhouse. And they would have the dolls all set out. It was like the precursor to American Girl dolls. Um, Xavier Roberts dolls and all that stuff. Um, they used to have a, a whole Christmas scene in a humongous dollhouse. So I have very fond memories of him, Paul Wells, even though it's not in Lubbock anymore. And then just finished this up with a cute little mirrored dresser that I got, or a little armoire that I got at At Home, which was Garden Ridge. I think they should have kept Garden Ridge. I can't stand saying At Home, but whatever. Um, and then just some candles and some personal frames. So that's, and then of course, my pink chandelier that I brought with me from Oklahoma. So give me a shout if y'all have any questions. Um, I, oh yeah, and the little ottoman I got off of eBay. I'm not married to that um, pillow right now. I think I need a jazzier pillow. But anyway, that's my sitting room. I'm really excited with the way it came out. It's something very different, very me, very, very me. I have, it's a good t blend of jazzy and nostalgic retro, and that's me. So I hope something in this room inspires you to try a new project. And thanks for watching my very first YouTube live. live. <laughs> thanks.